Welcome to the Nerd Party. Hello and welcome to another special Between Takes episode of Missing Frames. I'm your host, Sean Eastridge. Is the Sundance 2020 coverage over? No, no it's not. The madness continues today with some red carpet interviews. That's right, we got some more for you. And this time we're talking about The Climb. What is The Climb, you asked? Well, I'm so glad you did. It is a film written by and starring Michael Angelo Covino and Kyle Marvin. And it's actually directed by Michael himself. How crazy is that? So what's it about? Well, Michael and Kyle play Michael and Kyle. That's the the characters' names. And uh, Kyle is getting married. He and his best friend and best man, Mike embark on a bike ride to clear the sinuses when out of nowhere mike reveals that he slept with kyle's fiance and that's really all you need to know about it that's all i'm gonna say about it because the less you know going into it the better the film has so many fun little things going on i don't want to ruin anything for you so all you really need to know is that this movie is ridiculously funny and it's odd and and dark and it's just a really interesting take on the whole idea of of the bromance, quote-unquote. But I got to attend the film's red carpet premiere at Sundance, and I chatted with the film's stars and with Michael and Kyle. Now, this whole screening, they were it was a big deal because they were simulcasting it, which basically meant they were broadcasting it and the Q&A in 10 different cities at the same time. I think it was the first time Sundance had ever done that, so... That was exciting, but more exciting was the movie itself and getting to chat with everybody about it before seeing the movie was a lot of fun. Now, the film will be getting a a limited release on March 20th, I believe is what the date is, and you can follow them on Instagram at The Climb Film and keep up to date with all the stuff going on there. But let's kick off these interviews. We'll start with Danny Cavino, who is actually Michael's real-life sister, but... She plays Kyle's sister in the movie. Are you confused yet? Because I'm always confused, not just by this, but in general. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and push off with this first interview. Thank so you. early on, this was this started as a short, you, and it was just like a, a simple thing. It was like seven minutes and things like that. So your character was not in it. Mm-hmm. At what point did you first learn about the concept, and when did you learn that Michael wanted to turn it into a like full length feature? How did you feel about that? I knew that when they were making the short, I knew mm-hmm. that that's what their goal was, gotcha. right? So they didn't have it written um, as a feature at that point. They kind of just had the short. They said, let's make it super simple, easy to shoot, no money, get our friends to just kind of help us do it, and let's try to get into Sundance. That's awesome. We did. And it we did. Yes. And then they were like, when we were coming for Sundance, they were like, let's try to get this, bo- let's try to get money for this so we can make a feature. Mm-hmm. They didn't have it written at that point. But when we came, they just networked like crazy and met people and got financing, you know, topics gave them the money to make no. the feature and then we made the feature i think they turned the script around in like i want to say two months don't quote me on oh, that wow. but I, I think somewhere <laughs> I'm, gonna around, qu- I'm quoting you on that. Exactly it's happening, on yes, that. It's happening. <laughs> um, i think i mean they'll probably tell you how long it took but okay. it was it was a very short amount of time to write a feature film and then and then we just started shooting not very long after that and it's been a whirlwind ever and since. were you so excited to, you knew that you were getting a part i heard you saying you knew you had a part in the movie that they wrote it for you but was did. it still kind of exciting to be like yes i get to be a part of this now it was incredible. Yeah. I mean, they are two of the most talented guys I've ever met. I, I am biased, but they are. <laughs> a little bit. They're two of the most talented guys I've ever met, yeah. and they're freaking hilarious. And just to be a part of this in general is incredible. To see it grow has really been the most incredible experience because I watched it go from a short film. Yeah. I watched them write it, and then I watched them put it into pre-production, and then I was there for shooting, and then I watched us premiere at Cannes. So it was just like I've been involved from the short to the our premiere for our feature and it's just been it's been I mean life changing so I've, I've seen the trailer I'm so mm-hmm. excited to watch I'm seeing good. it tonight oh, so I'm good. very excited your character is married to not mine so okay. the other sister is gotcha. I'm sort of like the just I come in here yeah. and there with a few one liner comic relief moments gotcha. so Mike plays Mike and Kyle yeah. plays Kyle yeah. now they're not they're, we all sort of played heightened versions of ourselves right. so it's not that we're really married to these characters as mm-hmm. that's who we are but it we have an, an aspect of each character in us, you know. So with my character, she's sort of just fun and, and lo- loves everyone, yeah. and she's sort of, which is how I am in my family. I'm the youngest of four. Mike's my brother, my real life brother, and and he sort of, you know, got a lot of 
personality. He's very strong, and I'm sort of just like the fun, like lighthearted, easy, love everyone mm. person. So I think that's what I really tried to bring to my character in the film because I play Kyle's sister in the film, not Mike's. And my role in the film was to just kind of be the warm, loving. Is that a huge stretch? Where you're like, <laughs> I can't, was... I can't process this. He's my brother, but I'm not playing. Like, no. well, it was weird actually. The scene where I hug him for Christmas, and the, mm-hmm. you'll see, I we greet him. Yeah. Mike's going through a tough time. That was kind of weird because I was, you know, I was thinking about if that really was my brother's friend. But he is my real life yeah. brother, so I just had so much empathy for him right. in that scene. I was like, oh, I love you so much, but it's because obviously he's my real brother. But we, you know, we grew up, we had so many. Mike played football when we were growing up, and we had so many football friends that sort of became adopted into our family. Yeah. A lot of Mike's friends are like my brother, so it was easy to channel that. But definitely, working with Mike was, it's, I mean, when we were at Cannes and we were standing on the red carpet, he just, we were all holding hands and he squeezed my hand and I squeezed his. And it was just this, like, overwhelming moment of just so, I was so proud of him. He, you know, he's taken it. Here, here, here right and, and, I'm, and I've, got, I've gotten to see it. I've gotten to be involved. And it was just this, like moment of completion where I was like you've made like you've made you know yeah. like yeah. To, in, a, in a way like you like, this is the journey it's just starting now so good around it this is, it is so it premiered so at Cannes and it's is this the like it's simulcast and this is kind of a big next step for it yeah well so we just they wanted to take it to Sundance because yeah. this is where we started it happened, yeah. so um, unfortunately we wished we could have premiered it here but mm-hmm. it just so happened that Cannes was during the timing it just worked out better gotcha. um, so we just wanted to take it here we're not in competition but we're just happy to be here fun. and yeah. have fun and and just get the word out about it because it's going to theaters March 20th. Awesome. So well, that's great. Danny, thank yeah. you so much. Congratulations. So much. It was a pleasure meeting you. you. Now, next up is Judith Godrish. I think I'm, I am probably butchering that name. If you know me by now, it's that butchering names is a thing I do constantly. But Judith plays Kyle's fiance. This is the woman who is cheating on him with his best friend, Mike. Well, I had a relationship with Topic Media and, you know, they were producing this film and I think that they were like, oh my God, like Judith could be this French woman Mm -hmm. and they sent me Mike's first short film, which I was very impressed with. And the script. Now that's the one that this. It yeah. was the short version of this movie exactly. that became this feature. Yeah. Okay. And I was very inspired by the short film, and then I read his script, and he had a very specific voice. Mm-hmm. The script was really like nothing else I had read. It, it was very. It was almost European, and uh, and it felt you know very personal yet. It wasn't small. It wasn't like, and you know, I, I was like, this guy has a has a voice, has a tone that is really interesting. And even though the character, the, the part was really small, I was like, I'd like to be part of this. How much input did you get in terms of workshopping the character from the start? Did you get? I mean, a I lot really of... basically, you know, followed his very uh, specific. He had very specific ideas about how he wanted me to act, mm-hmm. almost like on a, with a neutral tone, like something that does not really deliver any emotions or any information which was a very specific tone that I tried to embrace as much as I could I imagine that was tough though. <laughs> yeah yeah but how did you overcome that like what did you how did you hone in and make that happen well I think you know the because every every scene is one shot I think yeah. it's like a dance and it's almost as much as a physical work that every uh, scene is one shot yeah wow. I'm seeing it for the first time oh, okay, that's, got I, it. that's amazing yeah. okay so you guys still, really had yeah. to meticulously yeah. rehearse and get everything done down. Yeah. Was that tough? I we, mean, saw, we shot that scene in three days, like, you know, between rehearsal and shooting, but it's mm-hmm. just one scene and one shot. Oh, so it was intense. Yeah, I imagine, but I am sure it was fun. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And how do you, what do you take from this experience that you hope to bring into future projects? Well, you know what I take from this experience is that, I mean, I, I, I think I'm like, I find it great that someone who comes with a short film in Sundance, like then, you know, the next thing you know, he's doing a, his feature and and like, you know, it just takes that. Like, he's a first time director, you know, and yeah. like suddenly he's having this movie and everything's like, you know, everyone wants to work with him now. And like, I think there was like some sort of like, not a fairy tale story, but I think it's a really amazing story. It's close. Yeah. That's Success awesome. story. Yeah. And next up is Gail Rankin. She plays another woman in Kyle and Mike's life that threatens to come between them and, uh, potentially ruin their friendship. 
Let's talk about the climb. Let's talk about it. Gail, tell me, look, because I haven't seen it yet. Okay, cool. I'm so excited to see it. Oh, amazing. So give me some context. Tell me a little bit without spoiling anything so, about it. as you might you. know, yep. it is, um, it's a dramedy. Mm -hmm. It's a cinephile dramedy, mm -hmm. I would say. I like it's an that. art house dramedy that uh, centers around uh, two men and their friendship. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm the woman, one of their fiancés, that kind of is um, embroiled becomes embroiled in that franchise uh -oh. um, in many different ways. And do you so, remember getting the script or the first conversation, getting involved with this process? I do. I remember people being so excited about the short. I remember that cast director Rebecca Dealey and uh, Jessica Kelly are um, amazing and they were very enthusiastic about the short and everyone was very enthusiastic when it came out in 2018 yeah. at Sundance and, and I watched it and I was like, oh, this is serious. And then I, I read the script and I was like, oh yeah, I want to do this. What was it that, because it seems like a, it's very, it's kind of romantic in a way. So it sure, seems like... but it's also very like um, universal. I found there's something these men are extraordinary, and and they they kind of encapsulate not only like masculine qualities but like feminine qualities and like just human qualities, and, and the fact that like their relationship can withstand the turbulence that it that yeah. it endures during this film is is a testament to like the, who these specific men are, you know. Yeah. And they wrote them really specifically, and and. and it's really unique. Judith mentioned that every scene is done kind of in a single take. take. Yeah. What was that like? That's I mean, amazing. It's insane. I mean, it's wonderful. I actually worked with the director, Alex Ross Perry, on a, on a film called Her Smell that we actually shot in a similar way. Yeah. And so I was quite familiar. You were already with a little that. acclimated to that. Yeah, and also coming from a theatrical background, mm -hmm. I was used to um, working that way, rehearsing something, playing it all the way through. Yeah. And it does give the film a, um, a really unique texture and also like allows the comedy to kind of swell and you know quiet and, and become like I think really sophisticated and, and funny and and deep and and way and a lot like life, you know. Yeah. Things like life are always elevated cool. life. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll yeah. take it. I'm very excited. Cool. Gail, thank you so much for nice. chatting with me. And finally we have the boys themselves, Michael and Kyle. So let's hear what they have to say about this movie. How you guys feel? You guys pumped about this? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Being simulcast, this is insanity. I know. But tell me a little, because I did not realize that every scene is, takes place in one take. Like, you guys kind of yeah. 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 So what was the the idea behind that? What was the thinking behind we that? We hate editing. Oh, gotcha. All right. Yeah, we're just it's like, that easy. Yeah, we're just like, <laughs> I was like, it's not fun. No, it's long. It's tedious. Right. No deeper creative process. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. No, no, editing sucks. Simplicity. No, no, it's, uh, it was, it was, uh, we, we really liked the idea of living in, uh, in the moment with these characters and like and the immediacy of that yeah. and um, wanted to explore that sort of and, and almost like in a more elliptical t storytelling in a more elliptical fashion where we get seven minutes then we jump ahead mm -hmm. sometime and then we get another ten minutes yeah. and we sort of get to like experience the just the moment to moment with these characters and then figure out and you don't get all the pieces in between in the story so you don't fully understand uh, you don't you don't get the whole thing it's a little bit more active for the viewer you got to sort of like figure out what's going on. Gotcha. What do you have to say to that? No, he said it better than I could ever All say. All right, there yeah. you go. So as far as extending this from a short to a feature, what I've heard is that you guys kind of made this short in a way to pitch as a feature. Is that true? Like yeah, it, Sundance was really just a, like the, the biggest platform we could ask for with a short to turn it into a feature because it gives an investor the vote of confidence to say, oh yeah, this is a Sundance short. It's a proof of concept for <laughs> something These guys may bigger. not like editing, but they can make a yeah, movie. Maybe we'll let these two act in the feature as well <laughs> instead, of, instead of bringing in, you know, John C. Riley to play right. Kyle, which I wanted to, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I would be down. I'd be okay with that. Just to be clear. John, if you're listening, yeah, yeah. you can come back. We'll do it. We'll in do it. Digital yeah. effects. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I'm so thank excited you. to watch yeah. it. Yeah. Are you seeing it tonight? I'm seeing it tonight. That's awesome. Congratulations. That's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you so yeah. much. Have fun, okay? So there you have it, short and sweet. Sadly, I only had time for a couple of questions with them, but I'm hoping to chat with them a little bit more once the film gets its release in March. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. If you like what you're hearing, please feel free to give a five-star rating to Missing Frames on iTunes. If you write a review and give a five-star rating, I will read your review on a future episode. And what could be more exciting than that? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You can also follow me at Dorman on Twitter and on Instagram at Dorman. And also make sure you're following The Nerd Party at Join Nerd Party on Twitter and The Nerd Party on Instagram and Facebook. So thanks so much again. I will see you next time.